Hey, hey, everyone. Welcome, welcome, welcome to Ivy and Juke Creations. If you're new here, my name is Kim, and I'm so glad you decided to spend just a few minutes of your time today with me. So let's get on so you can get back to doing what you need to do. All righty, y'all. We took this coffee can, and we painted it in DIY Kremlin. And, yo, I'm sorry that it seems like everything I paint, I paint with Kremlin, the DIY Kremlin first. And, basically, it, it is because when I pick up an object, I don't know where I'm going with that object, um, or the DIY or whatever. I, I, I don't even know. So, my tip is just get started. Pick you out a something your base of your project uh the canvas the clean slate uh the can whatever it is and i start painting it and then most of the time i do end up painting it a different color um right here we're putting decoupage paper rice paper on it so um for me it's just get started and put something on it you know what I'm saying? So, I do apologize that I use that same color all the time. But, that's just <laughs> letting y'all know. I don't know where I'm going when I do that. Um, but, it's basically stand at my craft table and get started. And then, ideas start flowing, if you know what I mean. So, anyway, y'all look at this beautiful, beautiful paper from decoupagecentral.com. If you want your hands on this exact same piece of paper... You can go in the description box, and I will have a link there for you to order it. Um, through this link, it'll carry you to decapodcentral.com, and whatever you order, I will receive a small commission at no extra charge to you. And all of y'all that did, has used my link, thank y'all so, so very much. I was tickled to death when I made my first dollar, got an email, and uh, said that, you know, the, the uh, oh, what you call it, the reference order or a referral order, there you go, the refer re referral order had been accepted, and then a couple hours later, I received another one, and um, I was like, woo, woo, that's what I'm talking about, Jesus. <laughs> thank y'all, thank y'all from the depths of my heart. All right, y'all, and then back to the project. On the pocket posy, y'all heard me say that, you know, because I'm kind of new into the crafting world, I hadn't really experienced with a lot of uh, different mediums, like Mod Podge mediums or whatever is what they call it. And um, I have used Mod Podge from Walmart, and then when I ran out of it, I took Elmer's glue and watered it down 50-50 and used it. But then Miss Jonelle sent me this um, uh, Mod Podge varnish, decoupage varnish. It's one or the other. I'm sorry, I can't remember the name, and um, to try out. And y'all, I love it. I do. I really love it. So, that's what I put down up under this paper, the rice paper, is this decoupage varnish or Mod Podge varnish, one or the other. And um, here, I'm just going over the top of the paper um, and sealing everything in. Ain't that truck beautiful? And then I used my IOD Vintage Texture Stamp, the Crackle, and we're going to make this can, you know, look old. And I have to give some credit to Sean. Y'all check this out now. When I was doing the pocket posies, he came in and was looking at all the papers that Miss Jonell from Decoupage Central had sent me to show y'all. And um, he seen this one with the truck. And then he seen this coffee can sitting on my other the other side of my crafting table. And he says, this paper right here would look good on that can, Kim. And I'm like, dang, go with your bad self. And then he's seen a box of my flowers that I had bought at Walmart, my fall flowers. And he says, and then these flowers would be perfect. And I says, shoot, boy, what am I doing behind this table? You need to get your butt behind here. So I dedicate this video and this DIY to my husband, Sean. Thanks, babe. I love you. I love it when you spend time with me in the crafting shed. And this one's for you. 
All right, yo. Then back to the project. <laughs> Keep getting sidetracked today, yo. But um, I took Waverly Antique Wax and I put a little dot on the back to make sure I was going to like it. But y'all know, of course, I was going to like it. And now we're just taking. Oh, and, and it is watered down in that jar right there. It's like fifty percent. Um, da da da, da antique and wax and fifty percent water. And we're just going around the edges and just antiquing this bad baby up. And there I'm asking y'all, should I have done some faux rust with my cinnamon? And if you hadn't seen that, i done an old metal gas can um, back during the summer. And I used cinnamon and Mod Podge to make fake faux rust. Um, but I kind of skipped on it. I decided against it. And here I'm using um, jute twine and I'm going around the top and the bottom. And then we're going to do some floral foam. And then some moss. And this one is Spanish moss. Thank you to all the new subscribers, y'all. Y'all are the best. Uh, we have picked up, you know, quite a few new subscribers. So I just want to give y'all a big southern welcome. Pull you a chair up. Come on in and... Let's chit chat and y'all stay for a while by hitting the subscribe button. And those of y'all that has hit the subscribe button, I appreciate y'all from the very bottom of my heart. And um, all my old gang, y'all know I love y'all and I appreciate y'all from the depths of my heart. And we finally got monetized y'all. I couldn't have done it without y'all. Um, just so many good things is going on in my life right now, and I just thank the Lord for that. Um, I guess I can say now that, you know what, I am blessed and highly favored, and most of that has to do with y'all. And here it is. And if you're new here, the reason I didn't d give you details about how I done the flowers is because I struggle in that area. So I just sped that up, and I call it poking posies i just keep poking flowers till i like it and i'm happy and i like what i'm seeing and those flowers did come from walmart for y'all i think like a dollar and 20 something cent so it was no they were 97 cent cheaper than dollar tree thank y'all for watching y'all don't forget to share this video out i seen in my analytics the other day like nine people had shared a video and that was like what love y'all